Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gusto Next. My name is Talithia Kornweibel. I have the privilege of being the Chief Revenue Officer here at Gusto. We have a tradition at Gusto when we introduce ourselves to new groups of people. We like to share sort of personal facts, fun and quirky facts, so I will subject you to mine today. <laughs> so I've been with Gusto for six years, working on the accountant's business since day one. Um, I live in the north, uh, northwest, Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon. Um, and I love to hike and adventure with my dogs and my partner, this beautiful picture if you've never been to the Central Highlands of Oregon, I highly recommend it. And what a chief revenue officer for Gusto does is I have the opportunity to lead our marketing, sales, revenue operations, partnerships, and customer success teams. And we work tirelessly to support your business and the business of your clients. I sit on our executive team making sure that Accountants, bookkeepers, and clients are at the heart center of everything we do at Gusto. I also, as a young person, started in a punk rock music video as an evil panda. Ask me later. <laughs> in the six years I've been here at Gusto, it's been remarkable to see the growth of the impact that we have scaled together. Today, we have five times as many shared customers as we did when I started. Yeah, woo! <laughs> And proof positive of how vital the work this community is to the small and medium-sized business economy, two-thirds of all our customers work with an accountant or a bookkeeper. We think that should be 100%. We think at Gusto about everything we can bring to add client value and add firm value. That's software, it's payroll, it's a full stack of employee benefits, it's a full people platform. And we have started to really extend our merging of first-party software and third-party integrations. You're going to hear a lot more about this today. We also think about the way that we can enable your firms to add additional services and value to your clients, with People Advisory being our marquee solution for that that we introduced a little over two years ago. In the last two years, we have certified 5,000 People Advisory Certified Accountants. Can I see folks who are certified in the room? Excellent, thank you so much for being on this journey with us. This community is more than a business opportunity to us. It is where we learn what we need to do. It is also where we are held accountable for doing it right. And we couldn't be in this business without you. We share a fundamental mission. And occasionally we have fun. <laughs> So we are definitely doing our best today to bring those aspects all together. Because our shared mission is to create a world where work empowers a better life, where people and businesses thrive together. So our theme of unlocking possibility today, let's set the stage for a couple things you're gonna um, hear about today and hopefully get some value from. We think about the three things mentioned before. How do you unlock the possibility of your talent and how do you help your clients unlock theirs? How do you unlock scale? We're gonna focus a lot on technology and AI today, but scale means many things. And how do you unlock your team experience? So it isn't just about acquiring talent. It's about everything you do as a business, if you've scaled the technology, to engage your team as well. So a couple of the sessions I'm really excited about we'll go through so you can decide what's going to be most valuable to you. So in terms of unlocking talent, this stat was incredible to me. Our team of economists recently surveyed accounting firm owners, and six out of 10 said that they had turned away new business or literally fired clients because they didn't have the staff to support that business. Has that happened in any of your firms? Nods. It's shocking. It's upsetting. I want to talk about Melissa, who couldn't be with us here today from Milestone Accounting. So Melissa started a new firm. She's been in the industry for a while, but she started a new firm um, just at the beginning of the pandemic. And she knew that the only way to win against a tight talent market was to have a remote first cross state lines talent strategy. She also knew that that team then could unlock that potential for their clients. But what she and her clients had underestimated is how complex that actually can be to hire and engage teams, to have different uh, multiple jurisdictions with compliance, tax, all the things we know too well. Let me be clear. 
Gusto is on a mission to enable your firms and your clients to hire anyone, anywhere, anytime. You're gonna hear, <laughs> you're gonna hear from one of our product executives, Ingrid Bernadon, later today about Gusto Global and what's ahead. Unlocking scale. This is another fun stat. 76% of accounting firm owners reported um, feeling fatigue from all the tech and tools that they're using. And I was like, why are the other 24% lying to themselves? <laughs> so you're gonna hear from several folks today about ways you can handle all the opportunity, true opportunity from tech and AI coming down the pike. You can also cheat and ask Miguel for hacks. So with a name like Tax Hack, you better have a tech savvy leader there with a lot of insights. So um, Tax Hack Accounting Group has a pretty simple rule. They don't add a new technology unless it's gonna serve multiple purposes. There's no one-offs. Multiple client needs, multiple staff needs. And I highly recommend hitting Miguel up for some tips. And then, of course, with tech, with scale, there's an elephant in the room. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked ChatGPT. <laughs> that elephant in the room is AI. Now, listen, accounting industry professionals have been using advanced technology and data capabilities for decades at this point. But a step function change occurred about eight months ago. And then another one occurred about 30 days later. It is impossible to overestimate the pace and impact of the change that's happening with generative AI. You're going to hear later today from Eddie Kim, our co-founder and CTO, basically on our point of view, Gusto's point of view, on the opportunities with generative AI, with some of the things to be thinking about, and some of the things maybe that are making us feel a little uncertain. I'm really looking forward to that. Eddie is a really great guy. So unlocking your team experience. We have some really great sessions here. We heard about some of how our colleagues are gonna talk about it, um, but I wanted to also remind us of a friend of ours, Wyatt, who runs Lighthouse Accounting Group. Um, so Wyatt had a long time dream to run his own firm. A Couple years ago, he started scaling it up with people advisory at the center of his business from day one. And then 280%, Revenue growth, not too shabby. I love that kind of number as a revenue-oriented professional. <laughs> so again, the three things, unlocking talent for you and your clients, unlocking the scale of your firm, and unlocking the team experience. Two more sessions I'd love to call your attention to related to team experience. So Monique Jackson, who is a people executive here at Gusto, is going to talk about and refocus us on the vitality and importance of employee benefits and a rich employee engagement experience, and then kind of to tie everything all together today, at the end of the day, Anne Ramondi, who sits on Gusto's board, but is also the chief operating officer of Asana, is going to talk about how team culture builds great company results. We're here when we invited you here because we are committed each and every day to your success and our co-creation of client value. And we also wanna remind you that this is a business, Gusto is a business that is here to stay. We've gotten to the scale of over 300,000 small and medium-sized businesses in our book of business that allows us to have influence in industry, create opportunity for you and for our small businesses. And uh, we feel very confident in the path ahead and our ability to continue to scale with you, for you, and serve you for many, many years to come. You're gonna meet some new executives today that have joined the Gusto mission, Karen Fuller, who will join the stage in just a minute, coming to us for many years, building service at scale for paychecks, who's already accelerated our service experience. I'm gonna do a very risky thing. I'm going to ask the audience, if you feel that our service experience has improved this year versus last year. All right, well that's something, that's progress. <laughs> we take it really seriously and it is definitely important for us to have the right leaders here on our executive team to make sure that we're holding ourselves accountable for progress each and every day. 
You may see or have met last night Jeremy Welland, who recently joined us, Google and PayPal, PayPal alum, to head up data. What a fun time <laughs> with AI to join the party. And then unfortunately, he couldn't make it here today, but Mike Cherry is our new product leader. And Mike is the most exciting and um, uh, sort of great partnership-oriented product leader that I have had the pleasure of working with in 25 years in my career. Two of these three new executives are from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which reminds us all that one can do great things after being raised on a diet of Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> I am so grateful to each and every one of you for being here today. I am available to you 24-7. My team knows how to find me. I want to have every one of you on speed dial. I want to do everything I can to advocate for you with our board, with our executive team, with our founders. And we are here to stay. We are so lucky to have you here. And let's kick it off. Thank you.